my first day in Auckland. I've been walking around for a bit. I was going to get the ferry to uh, Rangitodo earlier today, but I missed that by a couple of minutes. Um, so I've been walking around and I decided to sit down for a uh, spot of, well, an early lunch. And um, I just happened to come across this place. And there's loads of places like this around Auckland, so so far New Zealand's doing me good. Things I like about it, uh, basically Auckland reminds me of quite an English city, except it's warmer, cleaner, everyone's nicer, and um, it's greener as well, more trees around. So, so far so good. Also another thing that I do like is the fact that they have plenty of electric scooters and that kind of thing just littered around them all over the place that you can just rent on your phone and ride around. It makes life much easier and it's dead cheap as well. So all in all it's going well so far and uh, I'm about to head back to the ferry uh, port and get a ferry over to Rangitodo Island. I just decided to walk up and I'm going to go find an electric scooter basically just to uh, make my life a bit easier. Um, but on the walk up I found what is quite possibly my favourite tree ever. I know it might sound a bit weird, but that's because um, basically it's just a mess. So what it looks like is it can't support its own weight because it is truly massive. But what's happened is the branches are falling down growing into the earth, getting roots, and growing out again, like uh, there, for example. Um, and one of the best examples of this is just down here, where this uh, branch here has been cut in half, basically. But still, the leaves on the end of the branch are green, and the tree is growing. So I'm just kind of like nerding out right now. And it's massive as well. And of course no trip would be complete without a big load of flowers. And a nice view just behind them. This is your typical Auckland street I would say. <laughs> So this is Cable Bay Vineyard, it's very nice. It's about 10 pounds for a tasting session, that's oh, $10 for a tasting session, uh, which you get to taste four different wines. Very reasonable, if I do say so myself. And you get that view as well. So not too much to complain about. And all the vineyards around here are pretty much the same. Fairly cheap, amazing views. And in the distance right over there, you can see Auckland. 